Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Revere Sky, Revere Sky's Essence. So, what disturbs me the most about this world is that people say what book it come from. Where did you get the research? Why do I need research to see that somebody's spraying in the sky? Why do I need statistics for that? Why do I need research for a doctor or a scientist or agriculturist to tell me that these trees are dying? Why do I need statistics and research to tell me that the food that people are eating is blowing them up? This is something to think about. How long are we going to continue to try to unite with fools? I'm in Florida. And I'm in Florida and it's 56 degrees, way different than other places. It get down to 45, but the cold is so harsh that it sinks in your bone and causes pain. And you think that's normal. You think that's coming from nature. No, that's coming from radiation. That's coming from silent weapons. Now, all people, theories and conspiracies, okay. But I got to say this. And this is a fair warning to everybody. We have been misinformed with misinformation forever. They got the black race down as three-fifths of a human. So how can you trust the information around you? You cannot be looking at chemtrails in the sky and say, oh, they don't have no books on it. They don't have no information on it. Ain't no scientists talking about it, no credible scientists talking about it. So it ain't real. We got to separate from these people. The fish in the ocean, the whales in the ocean. Oh, they're not dying. The plants. We got grapevines that grow all the way down south, and we got grapevines that grow all the way up north. Wild grapevines, but ain't nothing growing on them. And you're telling me nothing chemically is not changing with our planet? What I'm saying is we got to separate ourselves from people who don't understand they're being poisoned, don't understand they're being manipulated, don't understand that they're being bombarded by silent weapons. We have to separate ourselves. There is no time to unite with these people. I don't care how much y'all want to unite with these people. There's no time to save these people. It's going to be some strange stuff on this land pretty soon. And if we do not separate ourselves from these people, we're going to fall deeper into the trap than you know. Let's say something like a FEMA camp or a concentration camp start herding up people. Oh, you got to go, you got to go, you got to go. I want to be just like that white woman who said, if my dog can't go, I'm not going. Bobby, it take Bobby Hemet to say it. Black people so stupid. Not all, but this is just what he said, something similar. Black people so stupid, they let the buses separate the babies and the infants from the grown-ups. Still to this day, grown women have never made contact with the babies ever again. Don't even know. Don't know where they at. I do not want to be a part of no herd community that's docile and oblivious to that they, you have a choice. Eat their poison or protect yourself. And I'm over it. 
I'm over it. I'm separating myself the same way I have not united with a group of people to do meditation work, spiritual work, and drink smoothies and stuff together. The same way I haven't united with anybody to go hiking, go be naked in the wild and stuff. I'm not worried about that no more. I am not worried about that no more. Technology has been our destruction and our demise since day one. Why are our elders, why did our elders live longer than we're living? Because they weren't bombarded by radiation weapons and frequencies. They were out on the land. It was not a concrete jungle. They didn't bleed the ocean of oil. They didn't bleed the earth of oil. The, the planet was vibrating at a higher rate. That's why they lived so long. The foods they ate didn't have pesticides on them. The foods they ate didn't um, weren't hybrids. And if they were hybrids, they would step down just once. It's time to separate ourselves. If people don't want to unite and meet up, oh well, to each his own. Because right now, more than anything, we talk about everything that's going on, but nobody's practicing change. And I'm not saying everybody, but nobody's practicing change. Do you know, okay, I did the, I did the, um, I got 7,000 subscribers. They may be fake subscribers. I don't know. But I did a poll on my community page. Why do you come to this channel? Now, a wise person know to say you're following my journey. Because if you're not following my journey, that means that you don't agree to my channel. Do you know not one person clicked the button for foraging? Do you know if you don't know how to forage, you got to go ask these people for food? Hitler explained it to us loud and clear. Persia and, and the Arabs explained it to us loud and clear. Persia went and dumped, I don't know who land it was, but Persia went and dumped a bunch of salt on their land so they couldn't grow food. Now, and Persia won the war too. Now those people have to get their food from Persia and they had the nerve to bring the Persian lime to the United States. Do you know what the Persian lime is? A seedless lime that cannot reproduce from seed. And they brought it over here. They're letting you know that they are making it so that you cannot self-sustain. Oh, but... There's many of people out there that want somebody to wait on them hand and foot, right? Don't think because these rich people got money that they're going to survive. It's about the survival of the fittest. It's about the one who knows how to go out there and get those wild leafy greens and vegetables and dig them roots up out the ground and get them berries out the tree and climb up that coconut tree and get them bananas. It's that one that know how to harvest those apples late fall, late late winter, and um, I mean early winter, and dehydrate them and dry them out just like our elders and preserve them. See, I think people got life twisted. It's really time to separate ourselves. I'm not going to be flocking with these people. I'm not going to be flocking with these people, family or foe, because I know for a fact, I know for a fact that people around here are going to continue to do what they do and not try to change nothing about the world. They are here. They are definitely a parasite. Hey, I even do parasitic things to the planet. I'm living here, I drive, I, I burn things. 
I don't recycle everything. I'm a parasite to the planet too. But I'm learning to correct it. I'm learning to do better. I'm seeking change. But a lot of people are not. And we got to separate ourselves. They are real burdens. They are real burdens. I done told all of my family members from, not family members, I done told all of my friends, this is how deep this rabbit hole go. I done told, I got two RVs at the house and a seven bedroom house in Florida. It ain't completely ready, but you can, you can sustain life there, okay? So I got friends in Georgia, I say, Come on down for vacation. You don't have to buy no hotel. All you need is gas. We got food. I got wine, beverages, everything. Bring the children. Let's go to the beach. Now, this ain't even me trying to be on no spiritual stuff. This is not even me trying to meditate or go hiking, trying to find somebody in my like mind. This is me just trying to stay in contact with people I used to party with back in the day. Do you know none of them have made it to Florida to hang around and barbecue and drink and have a good time? None of them. Some of them sat around and got uh, uh, unemployment for 12 months or longer. Child credits and everything and still never said it's summertime, Sky. I'm coming down there. You know what I mean? Get a room ready for me and my children and my husband or something. No. No. Meaning their trip wouldn't have been no more than gas money. None of them. None of them. I have asked so many long-lived friends that we have watched people die in our circle get killed, all types of stuff. And none of them travel to come see me. I'm in a tropical environment where it's vacation all year round and none of them visit me. So how would I think for a stranger to come visit me? I only had one stranger that was willing to hang out with me and she had, didn't have no problem with the house. She didn't have no problem with the environment. She actually liked it, you know? And I have other people that I'm starting to get to know. They come around. But do you know, I've separated myself so far. People get the knowledge and everything, but nobody's acting on it. They can't be trusted. They cannot be trusted. Everybody know if you want to be physically fit, you got to be physically active. Everybody know if you want to live a certain way, you got to have control of yourself. You got to have some level of discipline mentally. And then you got to be raised by people that's going to teach you the discipline. Because out in the world, you have to figure it out yourself just makes it 10 years, 15 years harder. But yeah, we're in a world where we really gonna have to separate. People think that these smartphones and these gadgets and this technology is smarter than us. You shut this phone off for a month and make no contact with them cell phone towers. Let's see how smart they be then. They'll be using old school tactics to follow you. Because otherwise, they would have to have alien grade technology to keep up with you on the grid by your light codes, by your frequency. You shut these phones off for a month, you shut them computers off for a month. Technology won't be so good after a while because if you don't interact with that technology, they can't correct it. They can't make it more better to imprison you. By the way, this is day five 
of fasting. I squeezed two oranges in some water. I drank it. First, I drank the water. Then whatever water was left, I squeezed the two oranges in it. And I kept saying to myself, oh, you wasting all this flesh on this orange. How dare you, you know? But I squeezed some oranges in there, drank the water. Now, it didn't bother me as bad as that grapefruit. But I did go behind it with, like, a cup of uh, alkaline water. I'm fine. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm there. I'm ready to go uh, sweat in the gym a little bit. I'm still contemplating when I'm going to start my 14-day uh, colon detox. That's right, 14-day colon detox. But know this, you have to separate yourself. You have to separate yourself. Take what you can take intellectually and separate yourself. You got to. Because you're going to put yourself in positions. That's just like people who spend 1200 a month for rent but won't humble down and go find them a house down south for 400, 500 a month mortgage. It's ludicrous. Like I say, all the people need to, all the people that's paying rent really need to downsize, need to downgrade because they're living, they're living in a world where they're already in their concentration camp and they don't even know it yet. And just imagine if people say, like I heard this, the military or certain people need equipment and food, they're gonna start taking it. They're gonna start taking it. So, all I can say is, to each his own, to the people.